Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's May 22nd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey, BAM's Head of Municipal Capital Markets. Grant, thanks for being here. Um, let's start and talk about the market. Uh, again, uh, continued uh, strong performance. Yields are falling, particularly on high-grade credits. What kind of conditions did you experience? Yep, uh, Mike, it's, it's all true. Municipals enjoyed a, another very strong week as optimism around uh, federal aid led investors to pour $1.8 billion into uh, municipal mutual funds, and that drove yields lower by 25 basis points in the front end and about 13 to 18 basis points, 10 years uh, and longer. So we're really back to near pre-COVID levels. And, and also there are you know, improving credit fundamentals also uh, contributed to more spread tightening. Um, despite this, we had a strong Weak in the secondary. I mean, those are all positive things for the market. Uh, but on the insurance side, we had a strong week. We wrapped uh, 70 million bonds in the secondary. We did some trades on recent deals, actually, that came uninsured. Uh, a couple of AA Cal Pension uh, deals, which uh, Riverside County and Ontario, California. Uh, but but you know, getting back to the technicals, they play a very large role in muni performance. I mean, we're back to a near zero rate environment. Supply is moderate. Uh, dealer inventories are low. The prospects for higher tax rates uh, are contributing to strong investor demand and a bit of a scramble for tax-free bonds. So the, uh, and clearly, this the last point is the market has gotten more comfortable uh, given the Fed's willingness to provide near-term liquidity and it's allowed investors to focus on longer-term economic prospects and uh, and those seem to be building so it's a it's a uh, very strong week and in the very short term the technicals are very positive this is the season where there's a lot of uh, cash flows from redemptions and and uh, coupon payments coming into the market so uh, there is a, a kind of a, a much stronger tone among professionals in the market you know over that next six week period they think there's going to be a lot of cash coming in yep june and july exactly and taking a look at the uh, new issue market, I think even though uh, the market's closing early today on Friday before the Memorial Day holiday, uh, a lot of volume got done, uh, a lot of transactions that maybe had been on hold uh, during the, the turmoil of the last couple of months uh, were brought to market. I know on BAM on the new issue side did a total of more than $400 uh, million of par across 33 transactions, which was a strong number for us in a week. Uh, that was led by $111 million for the Chicago Park District. That's a transaction underwritten by Loop Capital across three series. Uh, we also had a $49 million transaction for Louisiana Tech University that was underwritten by Stiefel. And uh, in the BAM Green Star, Green Bond Verified sector, we had two transactions this week totaling just over $20 million, one for the Municipal Authority of Washington Township in Pennsylvania, and another for the Triview Metro District in uh, Colorado. That was uh, RBC had the uh, Colorado transaction, PNC had the Pennsylvania transaction. Both of those were water and sewer utilities, uh, which are the largest issuers of green bonds in the U.S. municipal market. So uh, good to see that uh, that market continuing. Next week, I know the calendar is a little bit light. Uh, I think only about $3 million uh, scheduled as of now. Um, but again, if the, the uh, technical trends continue to show support, that, that number will probably grow. Is that, uh, that fair? Uh, I, I think definitely would be the case. It's just uh, you know, a lot of stuff is coming off the day-to-day -day calendar. So uh, the the reads prior to following weeks have not always been on the mark, so um, I think it's it's set up well for a, for another good week of primary issuance. Very good. So uh, stay tuned to our report. Uh, one more week in May, and we'll see you uh, next week. Have a great long weekend. Take care. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption, like the one we're experiencing right now. BAM. Build America Mutual. Ask your broker about BAM-insured municipal bonds.